Okay, that's really the only argument I have on the side of rational egoism, and I have a, a slew of objections from this article. Um, the first one is from a philosopher named Derek Parfit, um, and he says the following, I ought to sacrifice a small present gain for a large, larger future gain. Right? When, you, when you think about, especially, and you, you can go extremes here and say, like, imagine I have a dollar bill, and if I keep this dollar bill, then in the future I'll have a billion dollars, right? And like, let's say next week, and I really want a piece of gum. So I know a piece of gum still costs a dollar, but uh, pieces of gum. Um, but yeah, it seems like rational thing to uh, to uh, save that dollar. Or this is I don't know if you guys have ever seen these marshmallow uh, challenges for little kids, where uh, it's it, look them up. I mean, there are like there are so many of them on on YouTube. But uh, hilarious, right? They'll give these kids a marshmallow and say, you know, if you stick it out, if you wait till I get back, then uh, I'll give you a second marshmallow so long as you haven't eaten the first one. You can eat your first one now, but uh, I'll only give you a second marshmallow if you wait. And, oh man, these kids, <laughs> they're like, you see them sniffing the marshmallow, you know, taking like a little nibble out. I, I, some of them are like, you know, dusting their face with it. It's so hilarious. Some kids, that they'll just straight eat it. They'll look dead at the guy as they're, no, no, if you eat it now, you won't get a second one. They're like, uh-huh, yeah, that's good, that's fine. <laughs> it seems like that, you know, it would best benefit them if they were to wait, though, right? Um, now, consider this a following theory of, of rationality. Remember, we're talking about rational egoism. The theory is that it is not rational unless uh, it maximizes your self-benefit. Here's a different one, present aim theory of rationality. And it says this, I have most reason, it's the most rational thing to do, whatever maximizes the satisfaction of my present desires, my desires right now. All right, obviously this goes against what we just saw, what we were just thinking about, right? That, that claim that Parfit just made, that we should sacrifice a small present gain for a large, larger future gain. So, for example, let's say I come into $1,000. Now, if I were to put this into savings, I would eventually have you know, uh, uh, a better retirement, right? And eventually I'm gonna really want that better retirement, but I don't want that better retirement right now, right? I don't care about that better retirement. Right now I want surfboards. And uh, and so I, I'm gonna want to uh, spend that money on a surfboard and it might not be the wise thing to do, sadly. Um, so at the end of my life, I will have maximized my welfare by putting a thousand dollars towards retirement Rational egoism requires that I contribute to retirement. Present aim theory requires that I buy the surfboard right now. So present aim theory says that your considerations are relative to, number one, who receives the good, and number two, when they receive the good, right? Uh, rational egoism says that your considerations are relative to, number one, who receives the good, uh, but number two, not when they receive the good, you should just worry about the good itself, right? Like you should just worry about uh, the amount of good. But if that's what you're worried about, boy, it seems like it shouldn't matter who gets the good either, right? Um, it's it's like uh, um, it's like an additional uh, difference for the rational egoist. They'll say, yeah, it all depends when it's coming to a matter of who who gets the good, but. It doesn't depend on, on when they get the good, right? They should just look at their whole lives and, and, and see, like, what is the best good. Um, whereas the present aim theorist doesn't have that additional criteria, criterion, right? They just look at it and they say, yeah, it all depends on who gets the good and when they're going to get that good. So it would seem like we would need uh, some reason from the rational egoist. Why are you uh, limiting this uh, relativity just to this one specific area? What, why is it different relative to uh, who, but not relative to when, when the present aim theorist seems to be a lot more simple, right? A lot simpler. It seems like rational egoism isn't the simple theory that we all thought, and therefore it, it requires some more reasons, but we saw like there aren't, uh, they don't, they're not forthwith with a ton of arguments or anything. So it seems like we should not believe in rational egoism. That's Parfit's first objection. He actually has a second objection that's a, a lot more wacky.